Hey guys, all right, we're back. So over Thanksgiving, we had a ham, that was amazing, but now we have the ham hock. So we decided to make a split pea soup using the ham hock in the Instapot. So Jeff is gonna show you that now. Okay, so, you know, one of the things we talk about a lot, kind of level, hold it level. One of the things we talk about a lot is um, having everything on hand. So if you can look, show down here the, the thing, this, I just, we have this ham bone, there it is right there, and it called, so I, I looked up a recipe, it called for onion, carrots, celery, peas, chicken stock. So we have all that on hand. That's the great thing is we can just keep everything on hand. There's, there's the peas, um, just a, uh, you know, they're just freeze dried, ready to go. Uh, celery, carrots. So I'm just gonna use all this. I'm just gonna follow the, the recipe, but there's a couple when you thrivalize something, there's a couple little things you have to do to make it work. So the first thing it calls for, and I've never done this with the Instapot, is the sauteing feature, but I'm gonna try that. Three tablespoons of butter. Then it says to add the onions, and it calls for one onion, which is the equivalent of about one cup. So I'm gonna put one cup of onion, of fried in there, fried onions. It calls for two stalks of celery, which again, I'm gonna figure is about a cup of celery. And then it calls for two to three diced carrots, which I'm gonna do the rest of this can, which is probably gonna be about half a, half a cup of, of carrots. So all these, these three things, carrot, celery, and onions, are kind of the base for a lot of different kinds of soups and stuff. So you can see, I just threw them right in there dry <laughs> with um, the butter, and it's gonna soak up all that flavor, all the goodness of that butter, and I'm just gonna saute those for a minute. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some water. So this recipe calls for six cups of water, but I know that because I've got freeze dried ingredients, they're gonna soak up some of that water. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water um, on top of what it calls for. Um, so what I, what I usually do is just put enough water to, for the, um, whatever it is that's freeze dried, so that it floats off the bottom. So I'm just gonna add a little bit. And that, everything just kind of came up off the bottom there. So now I'm just gonna stir this in. That's enough water. That was about maybe half to three quarters of a cup. All the freeze dry will soak up that water. So that's enough water to refresh everything. Now from here on, I'll just add what the recipe called for as far as water. So the next thing I'm gonna do is it's gonna call, like I said, for six cups of water. So I'm gonna, you show me over here. Okay, are you putting in split peas? Yep. Because these aren't split peas. Oh yeah, I haven't done that yet. Okay, let me do that. So no, I'm gonna no, do- No, but those aren't split peas. So it calls for four cups of, I mean, it calls for a pound of peas, which is about three to four cups. So I'm gonna put four cups of peas in here. Two, three, four. Now that's freeze dried as well. So I'm gonna have to add some liquid to refresh all those. And there's about enough. That just, they just, you'll just kind of see it come off the bottom as you're pouring it in. That's enough. I'm gonna stir that around and let those soak up all this water. Now Lisa brought up a point that these are whole peas, not split peas. What I'm gonna do at the end, after this all cooks, is I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna pulse it in my blend tech. I'm gonna take the ham bone out. I'm gonna pulse it in my blend tech. And then I'm gonna put the, the uh, chop all the meat off of the ham and put add it back in. So there's all that. You can see it's just pretty much soaked up all that water. Now from here is where I'm gonna follow the recipe. Cause now I've got enough water to refresh the freeze dried. So now I'm gonna go with six cups of water. So a little higher. So you can see in this, in this cupboard here, is all of our thrive that we keep with the green is the vegetables. These are proteins and meats. We have grains. We have fruits on the other side that you can't really see. So it's really nice to have all of these on hand where you can just get them whenever you need them. So there's four cups of water. I'm gonna put that in. 
and then two more because I need six cups total. Can't see. And I always used to like to use the filtered water because I'm kind of a, um, I don't know, fanatic about the flavor. And I just feel like we have pretty good water here in Utah, but tap water, you know, isn't the best. So I like to do a little of that. Now, can you see that? This, yes, that's good. So this calls for uh, chicken stock. What I'm gonna do is, it, was, it called for six cups of chicken stock. I put six cups of water, but our chicken stock for each um, cup, you need one teaspoon of the stock to make the equivalent of chicken stock. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, Six, so that's the equivalent of six, six cups of chicken stock. I'm gonna stir all that in. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. It calls for just to, to taste. So for this amount of, I'm gonna put about a, about a equivalent of about a tablespoon of salt. And I'll salt it to, to taste when I'm done. But I'm gonna put this, a little bit of, of uh, pepper in there. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of our chef's choice, which is just an all-purpose seasoning. That's a Thrive product. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there. Okay, that's it. So now I'm gonna... Yeah, you have to put your ham hock in. Good point, that's why I need to get around. <laughs> so now I'm gonna add the ham hock. And again, I'm gonna cook this in there, and then at the end, I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna pulse it in the blender so everything's just kind of smooth and uh, melded together, chop off all the ham, put it back in, and serve it that way. So what I'm gonna do now is just put the lid on, close the, the, the vent, I'm gonna change it to high pressure, High pressure, and I'm gonna do it for 20 minutes. And there we go. That'll start here in a second. There we go. Okay, so now it's heating up. So that's pretty much it. it took me about, what, maybe 10 minutes to do all that, and I had everything on hand. Didn't have to run to the store, which is really the beauty of this. Um, and I'll come back and we'll post some pictures of the finished product, but can't wait to try this. Have a great day.